Hello guys, Shay here. Welcome to a brand new video. Today is going to be a little different than usual. Usually I talk about music or 21 Pilots in particular, but today is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to be talking about the death of my father or more so the day of because um, I tried doing this three days after he passed, but I really couldn't get myself to do it because, you know, couldn't really stomach the fact that I was even talking about it. Um, but now I think I can. It's been a month, over a month, and... Um, you know, when I first was recording it, I, uh, my aunt ended up seeing that I was recording, or at least I went outside and saw that she was awake, and I told her, you know, like, I want to make this video because I want to look back when I'm older and I want to see my room, I want to see the clothes I'm wearing, I want to see my guitar, or now my dad's guitar to the left of me, and, or right of me. It's my left. I want to see, I want to hear my voice, I want to see everything. That's one thing that I'm really happy that I get to do on YouTube and I don't think a lot of people really realize. You know, when you look at family photos or whatever, you can be like, oh my god, my old bed, oh my god, my old dresser. But if you do YouTube, you get that and so much more. I don't know, that's one thing I always thought was cool about YouTube. I can always just look back on my old room, like my room tour. It's really cool because, I mean, I still have that exact room, but, you know, 10 years from now when I'm in an apartment or something, it'll, I'll be so thankful I recorded that. Anyway, so, um, let's just get started on this. Actually, before I get started, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support. On my last little video, I couldn't really get myself to record anything, so I just kind of posted something because I wanted to start being active, and I hadn't been, and I wanted an, a little explanation. But I also just want to say that the day, you know, February 25th is when he died, it couldn't have been a better day. Like, that sounds terrible, right? Had it happened, like, two days earlier, I think I would, I, I would be a complete mess right now. Like, still, to this day. The reason why is because our family was fighting, and, you know, obviously that's just not a good way for things to end, so... I'm just kind of happy it, it happened on a good day. So anyway, February 25th, I wake up, my dad's literally yelling at me, and he's like, you got tax returns. And I see that I have $450 in tax returns, and so I'm like, yay, I get free money. So I got my tax returns, he's like, hey, I gotta go on a run, because he's a real estate agent, so he doesn't work on like a wage or anything. He uh, just works, then comes back, then works, then comes back, and so he had to go do something. I'm like, all right, cool. So I get up, eat, you know, food. I don't know, do my thing. But I started uh, recording a song and I literally finished the song. I didn't sing in it. I have a, I don't like to sing because it, you know, ugh. I record a full song without any uh, vocals and my dad comes home and sees me doing that and he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, making a song. So then my dad has to go again because him and my mom are going to go kind of like on a date or something. In reality, they just want to drive and they ended up talking about me going to college, getting me an apartment and stuff like that. And uh, uh, they kind of just made up for what happened two days before. I'm not sure if it's exactly two days, but yeah. So we're, we all been pretty chill and made up, even me and my mom have made up. Not fully though, obviously we kind of had to at some point this day. He comes home, my mom's back to work, she owns a store. My tax return, I actually had to sign some stuff to actually get the check. And so I'm like, hey, when are we going to like work on this paper? Because, you know, I want $400. And he's like, oh, well, I'm going to go surfing and uh, we'll do it when I get home. And I'm like, okay. And he isn't going to surf too soon yet, um, but yeah. So then he starts asking me about the song I wrote, and uh, this has been like 20 minutes later. I'm like, well, do you want to hear it? And he's like, I want to hear it when I get back home. <laughs> That's something y'all should remember right there if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's pretty bad. I know, those are really bad words to be the last words, when I get back. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so I go in the shower because I'm gonna take a shower. I actually don't know why. I, I wasn't even gonna do anything that day. I was like, hey, I'm just gonna take a shower. So we go take a shower and he leaves and my mom comes home and my mom knocks on the door. She's like, hey, and I'm like, hey. So we're kind of chill. And I get out the shower next thing you know, a mailman comes up and drops off this package. I'd been waiting on this record to come. It's kind of a rare record by Oliver Tree. It's called Demons. It's an EP. And so I get it. And I'm like, oh my God, yeah, I got it. And uh, my mom had known about it. And so we started listening to it. And we listened to my favorite song on the EP, Duck Down the Wrong Rabbit Hole, which is a song for some reason. It doesn't really have much to it, but it always made me cry. I don't know why. It's something about it, like the music 
just ticked so much with my taste. I just, I don't know. It's so weird to me how I could cry, but there's no like lyrical content or any context to make me cry. I don't know. It was weird. So I listened to it and my mom was supposed to be watching my dad surf. She was supposed to be out there watching him. But the thing was, my dad was supposed to text and say when he was going out. So he hadn't even texted my mom yet. My mom's like, hey, I'm really weirded out. Why hasn't dad texted back yet? And I'm just like, well, I'm sure he's just doing something, you know, like he's kind of like that, I guess. For more context as what happened, because I'm going to be more so going by my point of view. My dad had this new thing. It's pretty much a topless kayak. It does have a name. I think it's called a wave ski. And instead of having a top on it, like a kayak, it has straps that strap your legs in and strap your, uh, you know, torso in. And so you can sit down and you kind of aren't just, you know, in this round big thing. Anyway, so my dad um, is out at this point. He's surfing. Um, that or he's dead so anyway my mom goes to the jetty that's our local beach where he was going to see if he was out and so yeah his truck's there um no there's paramedics there when she arrives and there's paramedics and um just want to say it's actually been a common occurrence in our family for my dad to actually save people out there he's saved a couple of people out there he himself once had a scare once he got he got hypothermia once out there because he got kind of you know too far out but um yeah there's been a couple occasions where um sh that would happen and my dad would be helping someone and that's happened like i don't know a couple times in her family so my mom didn't originally think oh my god you know why is why are there ambulances here she's kind of thinking oh he saved someone and next thing you know she looks in the ambulance or at least on the sand floor and it's my dad with a bunch of people working on him Anyway, so back to my point of view, because I just know that from word, obviously. I didn't get to see it. My girlfriend got off work and she took the bus to our local town. She works 30 minutes out and so she has to take a bus to our local bus stop. Then I'd pick her up and drop her off home. And uh, I'm on my way to pick her up because she calls me. And um, right before I pick her up, I get a call and my mom's, you know, freaking out, crying. Oh my God, dad's not okay. Blah, 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 blah. I, you know, I don't really remember it. And so my girlfriend, um, I tell my girlfriend like, hey, you know, I can't take you home. I'm going to get picked up. And pretty much this random guy ended up picking up my mom, going to the bus stop that I was at. I parked my car and picked me and my girlfriend up. And then he took us to someone else. He took me and my mom to the hospital and took my girlfriend home. Kind of weird. A stranger did that. And he was really nice. And he, you know, I was really worried about letting my girlfriend go with the stranger home, but a lot of people knew who he was and there, I, I don't, I don't know. He seemed like he was, I wouldn't want that to happen. Like I obviously would never let that happen, but I think he had, he seemed like he had good intentions and I, I could trust him. Anyway, so we're up at this surf shop. We get into this lady's car. I say bye to my girlfriend. We're off. One thing that actually happened for this really short drive to this other person's car we saw the ambulance and it had the lights off and this usually means that they're not in a hurry which usually means that the person is either dead or that they're fine that or you know they're just coming back after they did something but we that that's my dad in there but anyway we drive out and my mom's just a mess the whole time me in my head i'm just thinking like oh he's okay you know like nothing bad can happen to me like you know it can happen to everyone else but not you right but anyway i'm just like you know we're good he's just gonna come back and he's gonna have a scare he drowned they revived him everything's fine but then i actually do start thinking oh my god he might be dead and so um we're on our way to the hospital we go up the hospital and it got to the point where we were behind an ambulance and i can literally look inside and i see someone laying down i couldn't really make it out but i see someone still laying down unconscious and i'm just like oh my god like then the lights are off if someone is unconscious and they are worrying they hurry they don't take their time and so anyway um we follow him up to the hospital and we walk out and we're parked kind of near where the paramedics are and some guys in suits come out and tell us not to go there and it's like well fuck you dude my dad's in there anyway so we walk in and we're at this waiting room in the er and um you know we got other people around us everyone's kind of just oh my god what's happening and so then they put us in this other waiting room which is dark 
and it's kind of soundproof, which kind of, yeah, that gave a really big hint to me what was happening. And then they offered someone to pray with us. They did a bunch of shit. They gave us water. And at this point, I had already been making jokes. I, I don't know how to describe that, but uh, humor really helps me with this. I, uh, a lot of times I will eat like his food. Like he has like ice creams that no one else well, he would never let anyone else eat and so I eat them now and I like flip them off up there you know or something funny it's just a joke sorry god that wasn't you it's at my dad well actually you know if it's at my dad we're gonna go down and at this point I had already been doing that and it's really not appropriate anyway so we're in this quiet room and then this guy walks in and he's like hey you know we've been trying there's been absolutely no signs of anything there's been no movement no heartbeat no, nothing. And usually when there's any movement like irking in the body or, you know, they can feel the heart beats once or, you know, anything, swallowing, whatever, they will keep trying because that means there's something there. The entire time it's been like an hour because it's kind of a far drive to this um, hospital. There's been nothing, period. So he, it's clear that he had been dead. And so it's really emotional because that's when I realized like, oh my God, like, crap that's crazy like what like at the point i wasn't even crying i hadn't even really cried that much anyway so we get out of the quiet waiting waiting room after a while because there's a reason it's the quiet waiting room um we get out and my mom asked me do you want to go see him and i'm just like whoa like that just got deep and i kind of just thought to myself you know i think it'd be better to see him rather than just kind of like not seeing him and be in denial because that's one thing that grief does to you in the beginning is extreme denial like to the point where I think it's a prank and you legit convince yourself that there's a prank going on and you're gonna walk outside of your room and he's gonna be there there's gonna be balloons and it's gonna be like ha gotcha like literally you forget you lose reality like you don't even I can't really tell you all but I will tell you guys that the main thing the way best way to describe grief or losing someone um, someone this close to you because it loss doesn't get this much worse it's like it, it's like everything was a dream and you just woke up that's that's how it feels i'm getting a tiny bit emotional i think i'm gonna be good though um i've actually learned how to talk through tears which i usually can't do i don't know you guys i don't know if you guys can do that but i never could you know when i cry i'm just crying but i kind of learned how to just talk through it so we walk into this room and this is the first sign of denial that i realized there's a giant sign that says recovery and then there's all the you know dead people and so we walk in and there's people unhooking him up from like ivs and whatnot stuff like that and um so he's just there and like i can't tell you guys like much because there's a lot of feelings that happen there i definitely cried then i don't know one thing i do have to say i really want to say if any of you guys are going through something similar and you have the opportunity to like see it do it I, I don't i'm not kidding denial is one of the worst things ever because you trick yourself you legit think that it's a prank or that you're gonna wake up and he's gonna be there or whoever's gonna be there i really think it was better to actually see him i'm not gonna talk more about this but if you guys have ever gone through something similar you guys know how bad this is not even just him dying but like seeing it you know like i can't imagine people that watch someone they know get murdered like i that would fuck me up <clears throat> yeah so that's how that day went it was a really good day me and my dad kind of hung out and just talked me and my mom or my mom and my dad went out and kind of had like a little date thing where they talked about my future and uh me going to college which i now have been accepted to two colleges and the third college which is the one that he wanted me to go to um is kind of like asking me to do some things and it seems like i might be getting in so i'm currently editing this video and i've been accepted to this college as well anyway so that's mainly the day other than that a bunch of people started visiting our house and just kind of like you know i have this thing that i call the rundown which is something that everyone says at some point it's like i'm sorry for your loss blah 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 he did what he love blah 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 it's pretty much what everything everyone says to me which i i appreciate it but at the same time i really do hate it because i don't want that to be happening i don't want this to be real but then there's all these people that are saying hi by the way your dad's dead and it's like oh shit thanks yeah it's been a month now which is totally wild my life has like changed so much 
I can't really like get into specifics, but I know a lot about um, how to run like a house, how to like, you know, live. <laughs> it's like I grew up in a month. Anyway, so yeah. Um, hopefully I'll be back on my usual video grind soon. I can stomach making this video. So I think I'm going to be good. Um, I have some videos. I have some ideas coming. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. You probably didn't. You probably hated it. And there's no reason for me to make it except for myself. One thing I want to say before I go is tell your parents you love them, hug them, do whatever you can to show that you love them. And in case that you pass or they pass, they feel somewhat better or you, whatever. Sadly, my last words weren't I love you. Um, my last words were kind of hilarious in the fact that it didn't happen, you know? He never got to hear that song. Like that's one thing I don't think he might have, I, I don't know. He never got to hear the song I made, which is really, really sad to be honest, because I don't really want to show him a lot of things, but that one I did because I was really proud of it. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, more positive videos are coming, don't worry. <laughs> anyway, yeah. See you guys in the next video. Peace.